Hello, uh, you're looking at an iPad. This is an iPad one. Uh, and um, I'm using the flashlight um, app that's available from the App Store. Um, and uh, I'm just using white light on it. Um, but I'm going to show you that the light coming from this iPad is polarized. And I'm going to use uh, a polarizer. Uh, as my polarizer, I'm going to use uh, half of a clip-on sunglass that uh, um, one of my sunglasses broke, clip-ons broke, so I use this as a source, uh, as a polarizer, and you can see that when I turn this 90 degrees, light gets through, and another 90 degree gets blocked. So the polarizer only lets through light polarized in a certain direction, and the direction of the light coming from the iPad is polarized. So when you cross them, you get no light through. Now you can do uh, nice little experiments. I have here a solution of sucrose, plain table sugar, dissolved in water, very concentrated. And sucrose, uh, I'm going to demonstrate, is optically active. It changes the, pol the plane of polarized light. It rotates it. So you can see I have it, so the light is blocked. And if I, oops, excuse me. Let me get back to this. Uh, and when I put it on the top, the light does get through. It's blocked on the outside, but it does get through. So if I turn it, I have to turn it so that I cross it. And there I block the light. And uh, it's about 45, maybe 50 degree rotation. So um, the light is blocked down here, but when I put it up here, it's no longer blocked because uh, the uh, plane of polarization, as I said, is rotated. And so I have to turn it about like that to block it. So sucrose, the molecule has uh, a certain symmetry. It's said to be asymmetric, and it's able to rotate the plane of polarized light. light. Uh, and um, most substances don't do this. If I can contrast this with just plain water. Here's just plain water. Put that on here. Yep. Sorry, you got to be careful. <laughs> um, and when I bring this up, it stays the same. It's blocked. It doesn't rotate the plane of polarized light. So this is a nice little demonstration to illustrate um, the properties of polarized light. Uh, you could try it with a salt solution. You will find that salt does not rotate the plane of polarized light. Um, isopropyl alcohol does not rotate the plane of polarized light. Uh, but some substances, such as uh, sugars, do. Uh, it's a property that you may have learned about in organic chemistry or some of you will learn later when you take organic chemistry. So this is uh, one of the things you can do with the flashlight app and an iPad. So I thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.